let's start off with this currency 157 naira 50 kobo so it's a bit of an improvement but there's still a lot of dollar demand why is that um, I think what we're seeing is really um, um, there's uh, insufficient, insufficient um, um, dollar uh, reserves in the CBN, and the CBN is trying to take actions to try to moderate um, the activities in the market. Uh, by I mean, recently, um, as as, as uh, earlier in the earlier in the month, um, it 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 it, it uh, reduced banks um, uh, NOP positions to 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 one percent only last week it, we got it back up to three percent to allow some 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 room for mm. the banks um so i think generally there's there's there's, a, there's, there's significant pressure on on the on the naira um we're going to see the cbn is obviously going to try to maintain it at a stable rate um but i mean if you recall right. only last year or thereabout um the, the 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 international monetary institutions had advised the cbn uh, about about the devaluation in the naira mm. um the, we there are Series of measure um, of um, uh, measures which were taken to try to see if it, the see the central bank could try to maintain it at mm. a, at the its its typical margin of three or uh, three plus or minus um, yeah. um, percent uh, on 150. So yes, I mean there's increasing demand uh, uh, on 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 the dollar uh, uh, currency. That's I mean that's why we see that. I expect that throughout the rest of the right. year that pressure will remain, and you expect the CBM will sort of manage it and uh, let it fall. Possibly, where it, it can't maintain it, right. and maybe in part to um, effects of measures to bring it back up to its with, to right. within its uh, 150 uh, mark. And the effective measures, Chidi, that are needed to lift the NSC above 20,000 points, some momentum is needed here. What is it? Um, well, some momentum is needed, but um, what you see uh, again is the effect of the economic conditions and uh, monetary policy. Um, affecting the stock market, um, like I said, the 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 the, the measures which the CBN has have take, has taken uh, is to try to reduce liquidity in the market because just so as it can manage inflation and as well as uh, manage the, mm. the, the the potential devaluation. So you're going to see um, these measures. Um, I mean, some of the measures which included increasing increasing the NPR by 275 basis points. Right. Uh, the impact of that was that most most rates really um, have gone up by about 300 mm. basis points. So for for some of the investors in the stock market, um, they, they tend, I right. mean, they'll look at the increase in rates as a, as another avenue to to reallocate their their, their portfolios to more the more secure and perhaps uh, uh, right. the more the better yielding um, um, assets. So I mean, as long as we see the we see the the central bank. Um, the constant uh, changes by the central bank mm -hmm. is going to impact and um, basically reduce the, right. the the buy pressure on on, on, on the stock exchange. Higher yielding results, what does that mean in a market that's subdued? We're seeing fairly good results coming through, particularly from some of the bigger banks. But on average, uh, price declines of about 28%, in some instances, even 50% in other sectors. So uh, the valuation's probably looking a lot better. But as you're saying, buyers are not in the market. Yeah, exactly. Um, you have most of the banks, I mean, lead, starting by First Bank, um, there are a string of results in the last couple of weeks. Um, the banks are leading. You have also the Nigerian breweries, you have PZ. Uh, a number of companies have, 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 have released their results. Um, on the banking sector, I mean, you, you, um, you have the First Bank, GTB, uh, Zenit Bank, and some of the others who have released their impressive results, moderate to impressive results from some of these banks. Um, you, you can see that uh, the, the, the effect of the uh, purchase by the asset management company of uh, non-performing loans is beginning to show now uh, as we approach the year end. Um, some of the activity we are currently seeing in the market is attributed to uh, purchases in, 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 in the banking sector. And uh, we expect that obviously investors will be trying to, to, to take a hold position in anticipation of the year end, uh, um, potential year end gains from results that will be right. released um, going by the rate, going by the uh, trend we're seeing in some of these banks. So. Um, and I mean, on the other, in other sectors, I mean, you still see the challenging uh, uh, effects of the economy and the effects of um, mm. uh, the bearish trend. Um, we expect, and just as you mentioned, there was an uptick in the market today. Right. Uh, we expect that uh, there's going to be some activity in terms of volumes, in terms of okay. uh, price movements on the banking stocks. Um, only last week, Thursday or, and Wednesday or so, okay. you have a lot of movement on Diamond Bank, you had a lot of movement on Access Bank. Um, we hear that, um, the, I mean, early news 
coming from trading today. See Zenit Bank and FCMB okay. are some of um, the, the, the mostly traded stocks today. So yeah, um, a lot of activity on the bank okay. stocks, but uh, we, overall we see a bearish trend.